All right, okay. Back. Time to get started on Portal 2. The... I mean, not that the first game isn't good, but Portal 2 is definitely the better game. There's a lot more story, a lot more characters, a lot more GLaDOS and her sass. Uh, let's get that up. Is this working? No, it is not. It doesn't seem to want... There we go. There we go. Much better. Yes. The regret orb. He's so cute. I love him. Uh, can I make this smaller? It's a little... I can't see the chat while it's open right now. Okay, still can't quite see the chat. Oop, that's audio. Also, how's the, uh, the volume? Yeah. Like, the first one was an indie game, and this one was, like, fully planned out, fully... Yeah, so how is the volume? Because I turned down the master volume on the game, because I know we were having problems with the previous games where uh, the game is much louder than I am. So, how's the volume? Gotta wait for chat to load. You see three portals. You do. Um. Right. Let me. That's not fitting it to screen. Come on. Let me... Let's see if that helps. And... Fit to screen. There we go. Much better. Much better. Oh, cool. I'm actually decently loud. I'll just turn it back up to where it was, actually. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm learning to talk louder. I'm actually talking way louder than I normally would. Which I'm guessing was something I was supposed to be doing. But it just kind of felt weird and unnatural, especially back when I was in my dorm. And there are thin walls and lots of other people. Whereas here I'm in my own room. The walls are a lot thicker. I have a sign on my door telling my parents I'm streaming. Okay. All right. Yay, let's do this! I'm excited. This is like one of my favorite games ever, and like I always kind of forget just how much I love it until I'm playing it. I do, I do remember the load times being really slow. See, that's, that's, that's what we did like five minutes ago. We did that. He left that mess. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 15 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. Yeah, and I actually I played this out of order, so this was my first introduction. Uh, to portal right here. Yeah, they were the load times are really bad on my old computer though. Also notice notice how uh 
there's it's it's evening here and it's daytime in this painting you will hear a buzzer when you hear the buzzer stare at the off i mean um Actually, before before I played this, I watched someone's Let's Play of it. I can't remember who it was. Um, it might have been Jacksepticeye. I have no idea. Uh, but I watched a playthrough of someone doing it. And that was before I even watched Let's Play, so I don't even know why I watched it. Um, but, uh, I... I watched that first, absolutely fell in love with the game, and then this was the first PC game I ever purchased. Uh, not the first game I ever played, but... Yeah, see, look! The time of day changed in the painting, it's now night time. I love letting Wheatley just talk, because he, like, the weirdest shit comes out of his mouth. Man, look at the dent I left in there. All right, look. Okay, I'll be honest. You're the last test subject left, and if you don't help me, we're both gonna die. All right, I didn't want to say it. There you go. You've dragged it out of me. All right, dead. Dos muerte. Go on. All right. Oh God, you look um good, looking good actually. Are you okay? Oh, I thank you. I love you so much, Wheatley. Going for a ride. Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, I can hear you, Wheatley. Oh, you're right in my face now. Do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. Minor case, minor case. Is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me, just say yes. 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 Okay. What you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. 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 Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor oh, the music is so good. Are you sure it's not too loud on your end? Because it's pretty loud on my end. The reserve power ran out. So of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on. Oh. Don't want to fall out. And of course nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I Fun fact. You know about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. 10,000 people are dead. Look at that. No, you do not have enough space, Wheatley. No, you definitely do not. Nope. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, the, the Wheatley definitely does have a, um, uh, uh, what's the phrase? Theme? What do you mean I'm not actually in- oh, there's no player model, it's just the camera. I mean that makes sense, because there's no portals. I can't? I can't actually fall out of the room. Oh, Wheatley, the docking station is 600 feet below. <laughs> Manually override this wall. 
He manually overrides a lot of things in this game. Oh, Wheatley, don't change. Yay, we did it! We manually overrid the wall. And physical gauntlet, to be honest. Jumping is very helpful in these tests. Yeah, yeah. Whoops, I'm, st I'm stuck. Immediately stuck. There we go. Yeah, so this is the uh, relaxation vault that you start off in. Aw, uh, I can't flush the toilet anymore. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or spiritual collapse. I just remembered Smith Jazz! Yay! Oh, look guys, it's me! And now I'm not wearing a jacket. So I look much cooler. So this should be should look familiar. This will be the first couple of uh rooms we did in the uh first game. And it's actually kind of really super handy that they did that because one they're reusing assets. Uh, so that does save on some time and money there. Uh, but these are these early tests are actually very important. I am talking, Mr. Announcer. Um, because these very early tests are really good. They're tutorials, is what they're doing. They're teaching you the basic concepts of the game. So, for example, button and cube testing. Uh, so it would be good to keep these in here because they're still getting the basics. Oh, I forgot how cool the elevators were this time around. There'll be stuff on these walls later. But, um, yeah, it's good tutorial levels, good reasset using. Um, because this is a much more expansive game uh, than the first one. Uh, we're definitely not going to get this one done in one and a half streams. No, my ear tubes. Those are my favorite tubes. Uh, that was um actually a quote from someone. My favorite Let's Players that did this game originally. I'm going to keep that quoting to a minimum. Uh, sorry about that. Um, they did change up this level here because before you waited on um. Yeah, but they're, they're, they're showing them in different contexts. Um, but, uh, yeah, they did change this up. So instead of waiting for the portals to come around, uh, they I include uh, these smaller buttons in here. Uh, so it does teach you a, a new concept there earlier than before. Yeah, so th it, there's an indeterminate amount of time uh, that has happened uh, in between the games. Um, judging by the dent uh, Chow left in her bed, it's a very, very long time. Um, yeah. Look, they're bowing down to the king turret. So yeah, the, these elevators are a bit more exciting than the old ones because you get little short uh, service announcement like this. So this is the Animal King takeover. So I guess Aperture is planning on taking over the world at some point. Who knows? Um, 
Yeah, but there there are still changes. Um, I guess this is the same. Oh, Wheatley, where are you? Ah, right over there. Yeah, let me just walk towards this floor that looks totally not going to cave in on me. Wheatley, I got this. It's okay. Look up. It, you think it fell off, and you're advising me to look up. Thank you, Wheatley. Whee! Oh, that looked like it was further down than it was because of the water. Um, no. Yes, I'm still alive. Th thanks for asking. I have the long fall boots on. <laughs> Go team. Yeah, so, what we were saying about Ratman. Um, he, here's some of his artwork, like I said, helpful, but also creepy. Um, this painting right here, uh, as shown in the comic that, uh, puts things, uh, bridges the gap between one and two, he painted this while I was asleep in the relaxation vault, because that's not creepy or anything. Um, but yeah, you can see here, there's this scientist and there's GLaDOS, they're gonna turn her on, and then things go horribly horribly wrong they all start dying and here's Doug right over here with his faithful companion cube and they're watching all of this go down um, and here's me or Chell rather uh, facing up against GLaDOS and Ratman's watching and as you can see I'm victorious um, oh no did I go out of order? Yeah, okay, so it goes, GLaDOS gets turned on, everything goes wrong, and then you go over here, and I'm asleep in the relaxation vault, uh, Ratman gets the turret gun, and then I take the turret, sorry, turret gun, uh, portal gun, and then I defeat GLaDOS, and here's Ratman over here watching. Um, I don't know if you can hear that, but it is like a jumbled frantic voice that's supposed to be Ratman. This soundtrack is called Ghost of Ratman. It's actually super creepy. Super creepy. Yay! We got it! And it magically stopped sparking. So, let's see. Let's put it on a non-painted one. Yeah, but like, the atmosphere in the first one was creepy because it was like so white and sterile and silent and you just had this weird robotic voice talking to you that slowly, slowly got more threatening. But like, the music in this uh, area is so creepy. Like, the atmosphere is just as creepy, but they use a completely different technique to convey it. Because everything's overgrown, it's deserted. He drew himself how he saw himself, like... No, that is how he draw- he, uh... Wait, that wasn't Boop that said that. Um... Okay. I'm not even doing any test right now, I'm just talking. Um, I'm gonna put you on warning for that? Um... That was kind of a rude thing to start off with. Uh, Brit, just keep an eye on them. Uh, I'd say they're fine for now. Um, yeah, no, so as I was saying, uh, that is how he sees Chell. Because Chell, like, he made sure that, uh, I'm going to ignore you. Uh, he made sure that Chell was the one that was, thank you, Brit, uh, was the that she was the one who, um, you know, was going to fight GLaDOS, get through the test, because he saw in her file that uh, she was very tenacious and had the best shot at getting at it. 
Oh, I never noticed those eyeballs up there. It's a little creepy. Um, so to Ratman, Shell is the savior. So of course he painted her absolutely beautifully in detail. Um, whereas Ratman is schizophrenic, and uh, this is something common with other uh, mental disorders where you don't really have a clear idea of who you are, of your personality. Um, so of course it's just a bland stick figure with the face scribbled out. Um, I feel like that definitely does make sense. Yes, that that's what uh, tenacious means. It's not just a rapper. Tenacious D. Tenacious Tenacious C. That's Cho. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with legal military androids. Rest assured that all. Oh man, I like look at how much better everything's modeled. And, and, like, Chell is modeled so fantastic. I mean, look at that. I mean, we'll get a, a, a better shot, um, of her eventually. Um, that's orange. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Yeah, three laws of robotics. Those were invented by, um, Isaac Asimov, I want to say. I, I own the book in which he wrote that. I'm pretty sure it's Isaac Asimov. Yeah, but he's not going to do everything in a scientific way first of all because um, not everyone's going to be using their science the what is it the left brain all the time art is a very right brain thing so it's he's allowed to get more abstract if he wants um, second of all he is off of his meds when he's painting this um, so that is going to expect or that is going to affect how his mind is working, so things are going to be a lot less logical. Or rather, they'll still be logical to him, but not necessarily logical to us. <gasps> Smith Jazz! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's such a shame that this part is so short. Yeah, but I mean, if you're doing art, though, are you going to do it as you would as a programmer? Yeah, so these tests looking super familiar, you guys. Could my mouse please not? It's been doing that for a long time now where it keeps connecting and reconnecting. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any of Right. So I was talking about this. I could have sworn that this glass I'm pretty sure I break it when I fall on it. I do. Yeah. Yay, I remember things. Oh! Another Repman done. It's a kitty cat! Is he predicting that it was going to break? That's interesting. I wonder if you can actually make sense of any of these, like, math things. Look, remember, new one, remember your evacuation training. It's just these little handy dandy people marching in place. Except for that one guy who's bouncing out of sync. Oh 
Oh man, I'm remembering so much of Portal 2. It's coming back to me. I've played, I've replayed Portal. I want to say I've replayed the first Portal more than I've replayed Portal 2, but don't think that's true. I want to say it's the other way around. Um, I don't know. I think maybe I just remember the first one better because it's shorter. Okay, so this is the first real new test. This was not part of uh, Portal 1. This is all new. Oh, Portal 1 is shorter, so it's just like faster to replay it. What, the bombardment from Space Debris? Was that foreshadowing? I mean, I guess it was. Oh, there is a moon in the Ratman Den with the ketchup in Yo, no, I didn't catch that. I was like, gotta readjust because my back is killing me. I'm an old, old lady. Uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna stop about half an hour. Um, I don't know, could we have, I mean, I'm trying not to be too spoilery, but, uh, I'm not doing a very good job of that, actually, um, yeah, but I don't know if we're gonna reach a stopping point, um, in time, okay, so this drops the cube, and this... Oh, uh, wait, no, I need to do this first. Huh. You learn something new every day. Britt, you should stream this at some point. You know, you know the most about Portal more than any of us do. Oh yeah, here's the quote you were just talking about. All aperture science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic low power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. And 1.1 volts is how many volts a potato can generate. Uh, for those of you who can't see Britt's comment, and for those of you who have played this game before, uh, or know, um, that is some foreshadowing right there. Remember the potatoes. This next test Please remain calm. To movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God, God help you. Oh, is that a bird I hear? I hear a bird. Birds are evil. Oh, I can do this now. Or not. There we go. Yeah, so these are all new test chambers. So this is, again, it is teaching the basics of momentum once again, uh, but is a brand new test chamber at this point. New setup. Whee! Where, where's the, oh, there's the cube. Oh, I guess I have to do the momentum bit twice. I don't mind that though. Oh, okay. Wait, they were going to name a bundle of games the potato sack. So they had all these potato hints and nobody knew why. That's hilarious. So yeah, remember folks, potatoes.
if you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. All right. Let's see. I can't wait to get the fully functioning portal gun, but you know what? I don't think I do until we get to that stopping point I was talking about. Um... All right, gotta line this up. Wee! Have I mentioned how much I love these puzzles? Because I love these puzzles, the momentum puzzles. Uh, let's see. I need to get in there. Actually, I wonder, can I jump up here? Like this? I cannot. Um, well, let's just try that. Let's see what that happened. See if that works. Well, it certainly got me over here at least. Dang it. That didn't work. There we go. jump. Ah, I was just off. Okay, one more jump for real this time. Wee. Good work getting this far. Oh, this, this would be so much fun in VR. Or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you. Please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. I love how they prepared for like any possibility there. Um what was I saying? I've forgotten. Oh right. Yeah, so like having the base game like this in VR would be so much fun. Um there have been some VR games. Um Oh! Come up here. Hello! Wheatley! Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, the, do you know what? It just goes to show people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? I'm a hero. A portal, and brave. And I'll meet you on the other side of the room. Um, let's see. Was this an old one? I can't. I don't quite recognize this one. One second, Wheatley. I was talking. Uh, they do have some smaller VR games, but they're not like, there's not a whole lot of portal stuff going on with it. It's just kind of little mini games that take place within the world, but not the actual game itself. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But we're out of options here. So. Get ready to catch me. Okay, I'll, I'll catch you. I will catch you. I'm right underneath you. My finger is on the E key. Ready? Okay. Uh huh. Two. Three. That's high. It's w it's too high, isn't it? Really? That. All right. Going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's. Yeah, the portal, the the portal VR lab. Yeah. Oh no! I didn't do it. Aw. Oh, and the robot repair one. Yeah, but I want I want stuff that's like it's got my body flinging into space. I want to do the momentum puzzles in VR. That's what I want to do. Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not I'm not joking. If you just 
turn around for a second. All right, you can turn around now. Bam! The secret panel. Got to open while your back was turned. And off we go. Look at this. No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just hold on, though. Where are we going? Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, just follow the rail, actually. You could have just stayed on the management rail. Oh, Wheatley, Wheatley, Wheatley. Oh, I forgot these doors existed. Oh, man, how long has it been since I've actually played this? There's so many things I'm, like, re-remembering. Hello! Yes, hello, no, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact, why are you? Uh, wh no, what is it? Thanks, we're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep moving. Hello! See, they're so cute in this game, because most of the time they're not actually trying to shoot you. They're just trying to say hello, and they feel bad about shooting you. They're so cute. Why couldn't they have been like that in the first game? <sighs> Stop talking about potatoes in the chat, you're making me hungry. Actually, what am I going to have for dinner? Oh. Oh. Okay. So, I had never met GLaDOS up to this point. I was so scared to go down this hallway. I was so scared. Oh yeah, I'll rescue the turret later. Um. Oh my gosh, it's so Oh, it's so scary. I yeah, no, I don't I don't blame you Wheatley. Like this is look at how intimidating this corridor is. Ah, oh, it's it's still scary. She's so much scarier in this one. Oh, Uh, I don't even I don't even want to walk past her uh because she is so pissed at me right now even if she is off oh gosh oh god she is what a nasty piece of work she was honestly oh do you know who ended up taking her down me you're not gonna believe this a human me right here I wouldn't have believed either apparently this human escaped and nobody's seen him since um her why does it have to be here why? Why? Yeah. Yeah, and look, there's the little staircase. Wasn't that staircase on the other side? I could have sworn it was on the other side, but maybe not. Yeah, there's the cor the the all the pieces that were destroyed before. I've actually gone and got myself turned around. Um, right here we are. Oh, and look, there's daylight right up there. If only we could just like parkour our way up. It wasn't that tall in the old game. Oh, look, and here's here's the um, what is this called? You know, a um, incinerator. Here's the incinerator that. Oh. Ratman put up new arrows. He was still mighty busy after we defeated GLaDOS. Uh, so this was just a wall last time, but I guess there's just a secret staircase behind it. Okay, down these stairs. Jump. This, actually, look at it. That is quite. Old. That's quite. A ah! oh, it's all right. Still being held. You that's a great job. You got I've got long full. I've got long fall boots on. It's all right. I got you. Don't worry, Wheatley. I love Wheatley so much. Oh. I love how they've got little stuff like that where the top is like, we want you to look here, so Wheatley says, don't look down, so they make you look down. And then, like, that's something this game does so well. They've got such a great sense of depth and enormity. And I know they're just like, 
doing normal draw distance stuff where it's like, oh, it's obscured by fog. But, like, this place is so massive. And that's, like, the coolest and scariest thing about this game is just how big they can make everything feel and how cool and scary that is. Like, especially when we get down into uh, old aperture, like, oh my god. Let's go in. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find an escape pod. But as soon as you look at something that doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing, all right? But don't touch anything else or look at anything. Or look at um, Wheatley, I don't think any of these have labels. I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Ah, yes, because this is a fantastic idea, Wheatley. Let there be light. That's, uh, God, I was quoting God. Yeah, there's no labels on this. Um, I'm just gonna le- Oh, no, I can't get out of here. No? Okay. Oh. Right there. It's right there. Nope, I'm just gonna- Oh. Nope, I can't leave. Oh god. Um, I can just leave through here. I'll just- No? Okay. Okay. Uh, this is fine. This is- I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna lay down here and hope she doesn't see me. Nope, I'm not- I'm not here. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Hi! Hello! I've, I've been doing okay. I'm doing fine. Oh, okay, okay. No, the portal gun. Wheatley. Look, we both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. Wheatley. For science, you monster. I would say though that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up. No, no, no! Don't put me in the incinerator. Okay, I know this is pretty like ironic. Um, just one small thing we need to take care of first. Poetic justice, but oh, okay, and I'm falling. Okay, so this was the uh, stopping point I was talking about. Well, we still have 15 minutes left. Um. We'll just have to see. Let's at least let's at least get to the fully functional portal gun. Let's at least get to that. Whee! Here we are, the incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. <laughs> The sass. No, it's okay. I'll catch you. I. Oh, you're not slipping at all. Actually, can I catch it? Oh my god, I can! I had no idea. Oh, it just exploded. Okay. Nope, I cannot save that. I I'm sorry. And there's just like flaming things flying down. There it is. Hold on. There. Oh, thank you. That was so nice of you, actually. to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Oh good, we'll just, we'll just sit here and we'll talk, we'll catch up. Also, 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 also... That scene's, like, that led to the incinerator room? This is the incinerator right here. And then this is where I jumped off and, um you know, went back up and up that way. So this is 
test chamber 19 that we're going through right now. So this is where all of the uh, sliding platforms were. Like this right here, I think, is actually a sliding platform. Or maybe this is a sliding platform. I don't know. It's hard to tell with all the debris, to be honest. Um, Here, let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure... And the there's the bit where the things are bouncing off. I was able, well, forced really, to mimic you killing me again and again. Forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. Her voice is so pretty. Um... Where do I go from here? I don't remember. Oh, that's not a window. Right. Yeah, so there's... This is where we came in right here. Yeah, see? There you go. Chest... Te I did it again. Chest chamber. Test chamber 19. We just went through it backwards. I'll just move that out of the way for you. This place really is a wreck. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing. For the rest of your life. After that... More like the rest of your life. A hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. Reanimating the dead, i.e. me. So I can keep testing and testing forever. You guys, I think she might be mad at me. I'm just getting this, getting this weird hint, you know? Alright, it's 6.50, we've been, uh, counting. Oh, did it? I didn't see that. Uh, oh, perfect timing, since, uh, we just completed the first chapter. Um, yeah, Britt in the chat says, Fun fact, it changed the cake on the chest chamber... God damn it, test chamber sign to a stick figure falling into a crusher. So before it had a little symbol that said cake, meaning you get cake after this test. Um, actually, you can probably go back uh, on YouTube and pause it and see for yourself. Um, but yeah, so we completed chapter one. We've got the dual portal device. We're starting a brand new round of testing. Um, Sorry about the mess. I really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm's You're welcome. Complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Thank you, GLaDOS. Thank you very much. Also, her sarcasm just came online? Nah, she was being sarcastic way before that. But uh, yeah, there's just a little thing right here explaining yeah it's not a laser it's a thermal discouragement beam see it discourages test subjects from touching it because it hurts so yeah um oh man i'm so excited to keep playing this i forgot how cool and atmospheric and detailed it is ah uh, so uh yeah we're gonna stop right here um no stream tomorrow because it's a Wednesday and that's Ryan's primary stream day. So obviously, um, don't want to interrupt that. Don't want to take up all the weekdays. Um, so yeah, uh, next one will probably be Thursday. Um, I don't know if I want to do three streams a week or not. If I want to keep it down to two. I don't know. I don't know. We will figure it out. I'll definitely be making an announcement on Tumblr uh, for sure. So, oh, God, I'll tab out. So, doo -doo -doo. Uh, thanks for coming, everybody. 
I uh, hope you had fun. I'm very excited to get further into this. It's going to be great. Uh, this is going to going up on YouTube. Uh, not tonight, because I discovered that rendering takes a lot longer than that. So it'll probably be up by tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, Portal 2. Completed the first chapter. Uh, so that's one game down. Uh, we've got three more to go after this, including this one. We still have plenty of time in the month. Oh, it's only the 6th. I thought it was a lot further along in the month. So yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, have a very portal December. Uh, see you later, guys. Bye!